Hey everyone, I'm Sam from BioCosplay. In this video I'm going to show you how I attach the foam muscles to this muscle suit. Spoilers, I sewed them on. I won't be going in depth in how to glue the muscles on, uh, just because I think there's already a decent amount of information out there how to do that. And for this suit I wanted to wear it underneath the costumes and have it be breathable and more flexible and comfortable. So this is the method I wanted to try. We're going to pick up right where the last video left off with all the foam muscles pinned to the suit. So. Let's get into it. I'm going to start by marking out where the muscles are on the suit with a chalk wheel. So I'm just going to go around the edges of each muscle. And that way I'll know where these are sitting on the suit. If you don't have a chalk wheel and you don't mind leaving permanent marks on the suit, you could just use a marker. To attach the muscles to the suit, I'm going to use a method that I've seen Ted Haynes, foam fabber on social media use, where he first covers the muscles in fabric and then sews them to the suit. So here I have some power mesh fabric. Uh, it's folded over so there's two layers. and I'm just going to lay my foam muscle on it and trace it while it's face up. Any sort of spandex should work for this though. I'm just using a sharpie for this. Um, you could use a fabric marker if you prefer. Then I'm going to place pins in the fabric around the outline. That way my two pieces of fabric don't shift around after I cut it out. Once it's pinned, I'll cut out the fabric. I'm not cutting right on the line. I'm leaving at least like a quarter of an inch. To sew this together, I'm going to be using a serger or overlock machine. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of knowledge about sergers. This is my wife's and she set it up for me to use. Um, if you want to see more videos on sewing or how to set up sewing or machines or overlock machines, go check out Paisley and Glue or Talk Customs. I'll put links to them in the description. I'm just going to line up the point with this dongle. I'm going to flip down the foot and then I'm just going to guide it in and try not to pull it in any direction while it goes and just like turn it while it feeds it in. <laughs> you could probably also use a sewing machine for this and a zigzag stitch for that. This is just a little quicker because it trims off the excess as you go. If you don't have a sewing machine or overlock machine, you could also certainly sew this by hand. It would just take a bit longer. You don't want your pins to go into the serger because the, there's a blade in there cutting the fabric and you'll mess up the blade. Then when you get to the end, you just tug on the fabric and uh, let it run through and pull it out to the side so there's extra thread hanging off. Next we want to lay our fabric on top of the foam muscle to make sure it's oriented properly. Then you want to cut a slit on the top layer of fabric. So try to grab the two layers of fabric and separate them. And then we can cut a little slit with the scissors. Then you can turn your fabric pouch inside out and you can slip the foam muscle inside. This takes a bit of finagling and adjustment to get it in there and get the seams lined up on the side. I'm trying to make sure I get the seam on the back side of the foam. That way the front just looks a little bit cleaner once it's attached. And this might not be 100% accurate on the first try. You might have to mark it and trim some of the fabric again. Um, here it's a little bit loose at the bottom, so I think we're going to have to run that section through, through the serger again. But that's what it'll look like. And then we'll, we'll be able to pin that onto the suit while I'm wearing it and test fit where things can go and then we can sew it on just around the edges. So here's another one I did and it ended up having way too much over here. So I'm just going to mark this with the Sharpie. I'm going to take it out of its pouch, flip this inside out again, and there's the mark so I can run that back through the serger. 
So then we're just gonna repeat that for all the muscles. The next step after making all these little pouches for the muscles is to test fit them. Uh, we've been doing this by just using safety pins and pinning all the muscles down to the suit. There have also been multiple test fittings. Uh, this is the stage of the muscle suit where you can make sure everything fits. If anything needs tweaked, you can do that. If any of the muscles need reshaped, um, I did some tweaking on the forearms here to make sure they flowed down from the arm a little better. Um, I think this step takes the longest. I would recommend if you're going to be wearing this under costumes to try on, for example, if it's a superhero costume, try on like spandex, see what that looks like. Uh, if you're going to be wearing it with like plain clothes, for example, try on similar type of clothing. Whatever you think you're going to wear this with, try to try on similar types of things to see if it has the right look. If it has the silhouette you want, if the muscles are in the right spot, you want to kind of make sure they kind of line up with your anatomy. So, you know, make sure the forearms are hitting at the right spot and they're not too low. Or too high. Um, same thing with the chest. If the chest is riding too low or too high, it's going to look weird the shoulders as well. You kind of want them to hit right where your shoulder starts. Now the pinning to the suit I can do with this method because they're covered in the cloth pouches. If you're just going to be gluing it directly to the suit it's a little bit harder to test with it. You could still try to use safety pins but it might leave little dents in the foam. And then after you get all that dialed in and you're happy with this you can start attaching them to the suit. I'm going to be attaching the muscles by sewing them onto the suit. But first, I have to sew up the slit in the back of these pouches that allowed me to slip the foam in. So since I've already got everything pinned in place and know where I want it, I'm not going to completely take it off the suit. I'm just going to mark where it's at with a chalk wheel, just in case it shifts around. I've left one side pinned down to the suit, so we're just going to flip it over and kind of gather up the excess fabric. I don't want to pull it too tight, because then I'll distort the shape of the foam. I just want to gather up any looseness and then with a needle and thread I'm just gonna sew this up. I'm um, just kind of like looping the, the thread around. I'm not doing any sort of fancy stitch. And then I can pin that back down and move on to the next muscle. I'll show another one real quick. Just like the last one, we're going to try to gather up a little bit of the excess fabric. I'm even going to go up a little further than the slit just because it's a little loose up here. And just suck this in just a smidge. So we're just going to go a little bit further up from that slit, like up to here maybe. I've been tying the knot, I just wrap the thread around my finger and then tuck the needle through the loop. And then try to shimmy this, this knot down the fabric. So now we just have to do that for all the muscles. And then I can start sewing them down. Okay, we've got the backs of all the muscle coverings sewn up. Everything's been pinned back to the suit. Any adjustments that needed to be made have been made. Some of the pieces uh, shifted a little bit when the backs were sewn up, so we had to tweak some things slightly by trying it on. But now everything's pinned in its final position and it's ready to sew down. I'm going to start on this thigh piece and I'm going to sew it how Ted Haynes in the Stan Winston School video explained. And that is to first sew into just the bodysuit. So we go in and out of the bodysuit like that. And then, like halfway between where the thread entered and came out, we're going to go into the fabric 
holding the muscle. Same thing in and then back out. Just this on its own. And then we're just going to do that for the whole muscle. So then the next one, we're just going to go in between those two points again. And starting out, it kind of helps to hold the muscle in place where it's going to go because it's going to want to shift around a little bit. And then every couple inches or so, I'm going to put a knot. That way if the thread happens to tear or if it comes untied at the end or whatever, it'll only um, come undone to where one of the knots is and the whole thing won't fall off. And I've been doing the knots on one of the, the bodysuit stitches instead of the muscle stitches. That way it's, it gets kind of hidden under the muscle. I'm just going to remove the safety pins as I get to them. In some of the sections I'm catching a little bit of the foam as I go. Like right there. Uh, I think that's okay because when I was trying to pull the fabric away from the foam before it was causing the stitches to make the fabric all wrinkly and I don't think it's gonna tear the foam because it has the fabric there to reinforce it as well so I think if you catch a little bit of the foam while you're sewing it'll be fine. So then you can see it's all attached to the suit. It still has a little bit of stretch on there, I think. And we'll just repeat that for the rest of the suit. I'll show another option for sewing the muscles down as well, in case you're not a fan of the first method I showed. Uh, and I'll just do it on this butt cheek here. I have a little gap where I ran out of thread. So for this, I'm just going to go into the bodysuit and then come up and out of the fabric on the muscle and just loop it around like I did on the like I did on the back of the muscles. There's kind of the spacing I'm leaving. Um, you could probably leave a little bit more space, like half an inch ish. I think this method is a little bit easier and quicker, but you do see the stitches on the edge of the muscle. So that's the the main reason I went with the other one. Just as you can see compared to this, these are much more hidden. And then tying it off is gonna be the same, but I'll do one stitch just into the the bodysuit itself. That way the knot gets hidden underneath the muscle. For some of the muscles, I sewed them together like these two ab pieces. Uh, that way they'll stay together, but they'll still have a little bit of stretch so they can separate when moving around. A couple other places where I stitch the muscles together, the butt cheeks, um, these calf muscles on the back, and then the the shoulders had to be because they're overlapping. So that's so those are stitched down to themselves as well. I'll show how I did that on these chest muscles. So here I already have them pinned together. So I'm just gonna take my needle and kind of weave in and out between the two sides of fabric. I'm gonna start underneath so I can kind of hide the knot on my thread. And then I'll go a little bit into one muscle over here and then back into the other muscle over here. Just like half an inch, maybe, on each one. And I can take my pin out. And then we'll just do that all the way up. So 
I'm going to stop just right at the top of the chest and get my threads like pretty close together so it makes a little so it cinches them together at the top up there and then I'll tie a knot and then those will be able to stretch but they'll still be attached to the middle like that there are also a couple places where I didn't put any stitches um, just to increase the mobility and you'll hopefully see that in the test fit those places are right in here I left all this unstitched so when I bend over this can slide over top of these and then the bottoms of these two abs to right there so then hopefully when I bend over these we'll accordion over this and then you won't get any buckling and the muscles poking out in a point um, and also the pecs here so I stopped right here and here so all this is open and this can move up and down as well all right everything's sewn down all that's left is to try it on There it is, the finished muscle suit. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I hope you found it helpful, and if you end up making your own muscle suit, uh, send me a message on social media. I want to see it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.